100 engineers in 10 years. That's the ambitious goal former Deputy Education Minister Dr. Yao Edu-Chum has set for the Bosomchu constituency in the Shanti region where he is a member of parliament. Dr. Edu-Chum, an educationist of over two decades standing, is hoping this initiative will help industrialize the largely agrarian area. The first batch of 30, led by the MP himself, left the constituency Monday morning to the University of Mines and Technology in Takwa with their education fully funded. My colleague Justice Beidou was on that bus with them and I sent through this report. Emmanuel Ousu left senior high school in 2019 with aggregate 10. One year after he had entered SHS, his father died. His middle-aged mother sold a plot of land, the only property she ever had in her name, so Emmanuel could finish school. Emmanuel had five other siblings. In the senior high school, it wasn't really, uh, somehow, sometimes I have to um, struggle. Sometimes my friends have to give me money and then do stuff. Yeah. You have to starve and then learn. It wasn't easy. Yes, it wasn't easy. It is very tough yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want yeah, your yeah, child to yeah, go yeah, to school yeah, yeah. and yet do yeah, not have yeah. money. It's a painful situation yeah, yeah. to be in. Elsewhere, more than two hours drive away, in the village of Bedasi, Jennifer Dankwa, she too, a 2019 SHS graduate, has been waiting to enter university. I see myself as uh, someone who will be great in the future. So, although I come from the village, but I don't think li like a villager. I always think like someone who is higher. So when my, uh, I tell my dad I want to go to school, be, even this year, if it wasn't the MP, I would have stayed home because there was no money to take me to school, but I was still persistent. Jennifer and Emmanuel are two of 30 people from the Bosomchi district going to university this year. They are on a special program by the Member of Parliament for the area, Dr. Yao Osei Educhum. The program seeks to produce a hundred engineers over the next 10 years. They are supposed to return to the constituency and bring back their knowledge to work here. Let's say I complete geological engineering, someone will complete electrical. So we we'll combine the knowledge together to build the constituency first because some, we want some people to learn from what we've done. So they, we will build it and then when you come here, you will know that yes, this place is an um, engineering um, constituency. Uh -huh, yeah. It's the break of dawn Monday. Most universities are admitting freshmen this week, and today the students on Dr. Edichum's scholarship are going to school too. The MP has come to have a last minute pep talk with them before they get on the road together. This is the, the journey to Takwa, and it is that journey that is going to bear fruits that will transform us. Engineers are solution providers. Uh, engineers are problem solvers and if you have a critical mass of them then you will see the transformation and, and I think one critical thing is the the engineering thinking is also critical in every sphere of enterprise. Uh, there are in some uh, places where banks are hiring engineers and it's, it's a field that is very much needed in our nation. Uh, when they come back not only are they going to impact their communities and impact their families, they're also going to impact the nation called Ghana. Many of the young people on this bus today are traveling outside the Ashanti region, their home region, for the first time ever. It's over six hours from some of the villages where they are coming from to Takwa, where the University of Mines and Technology is located. But for them, it's a journey worth all their energies. A journey closing the door on one face of their lives and opening another door on another face that with all things being equal promises to be very exciting. For this community, I'm going to be the first engineer. So it will help um, not only for myself, but for the community, because if they are doing anything that need um, the help of those of us who are going 
to study there. We can also contribute and help the community to they can accomplish it with our help. As these students make their way into UMAT, many look forward to acquiring skills that will change their lives in the hope that their toils and the investment in their lives will be fruitful for themselves, their families, and Bosomche, their home. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Takwa, in the Western Region.